From Easter to Ascension, Jesus appeared to his disciples on several occasions and in many different places. This period is known as the Great Forty Days, and rightly so. How amazing it would have been to see, to speak with, to eat with, to listen to the risen Lord. I suppose the most familiar and loved account is in John's Gospel. Mary Magdalene finds the empty tomb and reports back to the disciples. Peter and John rush off to investigate, and it is Peter who enters the tomb, sees the empty grave clothes, and at last understands what Jesus had been telling them, that he must rise from the dead. Mary returns, finds two angels on watch, and then that wonderful moment when Jesus makes himself known to her. Taking the other Gospels together, we have some very confusing details, which is not surprising when you consider what the disciples had been through. An empty tomb? One or more angels? Women's tales definitely not to be believed. And then, in the evening, he came to them, and all their questions were answered, except for Thomas, who wasn't there, and had to wait for a week to be convinced. Luke, although not one of the disciples, relates a completely unexpected appearance on a quiet country road between Jerusalem and Emmaus just before nightfall. Imagine the conversation between Cleopas and his or her friend as they discuss the latest events concerning Jesus. They were joined by a stranger to whom they poured out the whole story, including reports of the empty tomb. They didn't seem to find it strange that their companion proceeded to give them a history lesson. True to the rules of Eastern hospitality, they invited him in for the night. During the meal, Jesus, for it was he, took bread, blessed and broke it and gave it to them. At last they knew who the stranger was. He left suddenly and they rushed out into the night to walk the seven miles back to Jerusalem to report to the disciples. John speaks of a meal too, breakfast on the beach with six disciples who had gone fishing with Peter. The account follows the usual pattern. No fish caught. The figure on the shore points out a shoal. Jesus is recognised by John. Peter leaps out of the boat to go to him. It was after breakfast that Jesus takes Peter aside and three times questions his love and gives him a commission, feed my sheep. If we read the Gospel accounts carefully, there is a commission for us too. We who are Easter people are to take to heart what Jesus said to his disciples, go into all the world and proclaim the good news to the whole creation. And not without help, for as he promised, they and we will have the power of the Holy Spirit to do his bidding. As the hymn says, Our blessed Redeemer, ere he breathed his tender last farewell, a guide, a comforter bequeathed with us to dwell. <laughs>